Hello guys, uh, welcome to another little instruction video. Uh, I've had it happen a couple of times now, so I thought I'd make this, uh, where the adjustment screw on uh, some of my rebuilds gets turned the wrong direction um, for up and down. And when that happens, uh, the, the actual frame of the projector is held still very, uh, very firmly within its mounting. As you can see, it, it doesn't really sort of move, but there is a tiny little bit of movement, which you can make out there. And that, this fault will manifest itself as a dip beam that is just far, far too low, um, akin to having broken adjusters. Uh, what, what happens is the mounting point itself here, the screw simply drops out the back of the adjuster. It can be a bit of a pain to get back in, um, but I'm just going to show you effectively what the cause of the issue is, uh, and that will give you yeah, more of a chance of getting it sorted. It can be done with the lights on the car. Uh, we're obviously doing it with the lights off the car because we actually want to film something so that you can see what's happening. Um, and hopefully this will this will help you guys out. So the way that we're going to do it is from the back of the headlight. And depending on which side this has uh, this has happened to you, uh, you are going to need to potentially remove certain parts within the engine bay to gain a little bit more access. But you need to feed your hand through in order to press up on that adjustment screw, okay? So once that adjustment screw is pushed up, you will be able to press that and draw back on the, uh, the cog itself. So apologies for the switch to vertical video. Uh, this is the only way to really do it. Uh, so what we're doing is we are just easing the uh, adjuster as we tighten the adjuster screw and you'll feel it just pop back on. There you go. And once it's popped back onto its uh, mounting, you can see there that it's withdrawing and that is going to be raising dip beam height. So that is all that's required. It is a little bit tricky and it might be easier with the headlight in the hand. Um, you might get away with it on uh, on the right hand side of the car as you look at it because the battery box is on that side. On the other side you are definitely less um, spoilt for space. So there we have it and we've put together the uh, the headlight you can see there that the um, adjuster is is on its um, runner and is on its uh, its screw there no issues um, it it can happen to anybody just you know it's a good idea to remember that the righty tighty lefty loosey thing doesn't apply when you're doing the headlights um, you do have to go counterclockwise to uh, to lift them if you start going clockwise what happens is the adjuster drops off uh, and it becomes a little bit of a job to put it back on. Uh, it can also happen in transit, so you know it's, it's important to make sure that uh, that there aren't any moving parts within the headlight. Uh, but as you can see, it's uh, it's a little bit firm. I send all of my headlights out with um, with retainer systems in place, so it's very very unlikely to happen to them in transit. Uh, but obviously, if uh, if you've bought headlights off someone who doesn't do that, then it could happen, or you could have a, fr a fracture in the system. Uh, obviously, if there's any movement within the projector itself, um, that would indicate a broken frame. That's a bit more of a concern. Uh, but if there's no movement there, and it's literally just that it's come off the uh, the runner at the top, that little adjuster screw, then that is how you put it back together again. Hope that this uh, video was helpful to you guys, and uh, hopefully it doesn't happen to you this. Uh, obviously, any questions, shoot me a message. Uh, otherwise, best of luck with your headlights, best of luck with your Jag. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, give me a shout if you want to see any sort of specific headlight related videos, um, any how-tos or any, uh, any sort of bits of information that you might need. Thank you for watching.